What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State coming at you with a haul video. Uh, pretty much gathered up a bunch of books. I've been waiting to hold on to do this video. And uh, yeah, um, looking excited to show these off to you. Plus, in this video, I do have a Grail book that I've been working really hard to get. Um, shout out to uh, all my subscribers. Also, uh, those, those on uh, YouTube and Instagram. And uh, yeah. If you guys like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, let's uh, get this started. I was over uh, at a couple of comic shops up north, northern, northern California. And uh, I was able to pick this up for about a dollar over the cover. And this is Return of Wolverine. This is the uh, variant cover for, for by Adam Kubert. Love that cover, man. That is sick. I love that cover. It's also badass. I mean, there also there's also the Addy Granoff cover. I have it. I'm not sure where I put it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, please believe me. But um, yeah, I just like this cover because it's kind of cool. You know, the whole heat, uh, the heat and dimanium claws. You know, which it's kind of cool where it's all it's all like so heated up in the dark. All of a sudden, there you see him, and it's probably the last thing you see if you're trying to hunt Wolverine. So, got that, and I'm so pretty stoked about that. Pretty excited. Also, in one of the bins, I had to pick this up because I'm pretty nostalgic. But <laughs> I had to pick up a uh, Wizard number eleven. This is I got this for a dollar, you know, because it was like you know it's whatever. It's I can't even keep this thing on the stand, but it was it's a it's a real keep in mind. I mean, you know, it's a Wizard cover with an original McFarlane cover, and it's a really cool looking cover. You know, he did back in the day. So I was pretty stoked or pretty excited. I'm gonna use excited. I'm not even stoked. <laughs> Somebody else is stoked. That's fine. <laughs> Got this uh, Adam Hughes uh, Adam Hughes regular cover of DC Comics presents Superman number one. Um, yeah, it's Adam Hughes cover, and you know, got that for pretty cheap. And I was, you know, I'm I'm more I'm more of a fan of Adam Hughes drawing women. I'm not a big fan of him drawing Superman, but anything with Adam Hughes these days, I'm kind of like picking up, even if it is Superman. So pick that up. Also got this one just because it's Liberty Comics and a lot of Liberty stuff. It's pretty cool for the CBLDF. Um, J. Scott Campbell cover he did back in 08. And I don't know what's in it, but, you know, if this is for <laughs> mature readers, then I'm probably going to give it a shot. So, you know, pretty happy about that. Also another comic shop. Did another Adam Hughes pickup. Betty and Veronica number two. Uh, I think this is the regular cover and... And there are other covers, I believe, were some were Betty and some were Veronica. But I finally got this one, and I was like, I just realized I never had it in my collection. So, got another Adam Hughes cover. Same shop over there. I picked up, uh, it was just BSing, so I picked up this book, Alien Encounters, because I picked up a bunch of Dave Stevens stuff. And as soon as I saw another copy of Alien Encounters, I figure I just picked this one up. It was very cheap, it was nothing. It was, it was, they, even some of the boxes they had, they didn't have bags and boards in the boxes. And this was just clear out of his bag and board. So I figured, what the hell? You know, I like Alien Encounters. I'm digging it. Haven't seen the show yet, but I also picked this up. Uh, Doom Patrol number 19. I'm not sure. I think this might be the beginning of the uh, Grant Morrison run. But um, also just as important is the first appearance of Crazy Jane. And that was... You know, I found it in, in a pretty cheap box too, so you know, had to pick that up. I'm I'm looking to try to pick up the Grant Morrison run of Doom Patrol and just read them. I might consider picking up the Eric Larson run, believe it or not. Eric Larson before he did Savage Dragon and Spider Man and so forth, he also did a a, a long run, not a uh, fairly long run of Doom Patrol, and that was before um, Grant Morrison did it. So. Pretty cool to see that, and this is actually my second copy. I'm really excited to have a second copy of Doom Patrol, first appearance of Crazy Jane. Also, picked this one up for a cheap price. That was a uh, Solar Man of the Atom. It's in a very good condition. Uh, the comic shop had two copies. One was, um, it was bent, and that was due to the fact that nobody put the book correctly into the box. Because if you know what I'm talking about, if you don't put a book correctly into the box... Then it's going to suffer from all the weight of the other books and bend the book. This one did not suffer that same fate. So I figure I picked this one up. I used to have a bunch of Man Solar Man of the Atoms, but I sold those when I was younger. Uh, this is 
probably my cover of the month for February. No, variant cover of the month for February, which I got last week, which was this one right here. Nightwing number 57, and it's by Jeff DeCal. And that is a really badass cover. I really like it a lot. And it's, it to me, in my opinion, is very underrated. So, you know, and DeCal, in my opinion, is a very underrated artist. He doesn't get much love as he is. As he should. And if you guys are out there at a comic shop, pick up his stuff. It's really good stuff. Especially this cover. This is a really cool cover. The lighting, the bird, you know, him, you know, Dick Grayson standing there right next to the statue. Really cool. I love that cover. Speaking of which, DeCal also did this one. This Superman, this Action Comics 1008. I thought it was a really awesome cover. I really like it. You know, I mean, it's, you know. If I had this slab, it would probably come back at 9 8. Um, but that's not the plan. If he, if I get it signed by Jeff DeCall, I'll get it you know, slabbed for 9 8. But that's just not the thing for me, you know, at this point in time. But that, talking about this, it's a really cool cover. So, got that from New Comic Day. Also picked up this variant. It's a John Byrne variant of Detective 999, Tech 999. And I really love that cover. I'm not crazy about John Byrne as I used to be, but John Byrne still does some good stuff. And I like this cover. Cool variant. And also, got another good one here. This uh, Art Germs uh, variant for, you know, Wonder Woman 65. Really dug that. He's kind of off and on with these uh, variants. You know, like, he'll either do one here or it'll be Jenny Frizen. I kind of wish he'd just commit to one title, but it's all good. This is a really cool cover nonetheless. Got that on Wednesday. Along with this one, nice Derek Chu variant of Batgirl. It's basic. It's fine. It's not too bad. I mean, I'll, I mean, usually I buy like multiple copies of the variants for Batgirl. But this one, I don't know. It was not crazy good or anything. But it's definitely one that I said, okay, I'll just pick up one copy. I think it's just worth that much. Also got this variant from my LCS. And I'm assuming there are going to be more of these like this in the next couple months. But, uh. Got Fantastic Four, number seven. That is a Bill Sankovitz variant, and I really, really dig that. It's a really cool copy. And, yeah, if, I mean, I don't think it's just going to be Mr. Fantastic for the variant. I think there'll be more others. So I'm looking forward to those coming down the line. Also, as far as an eBay purchase, picked up a, well, this one I, I have normally. This is one, is my, pretty much a reader's copy of my free comic book day of Umbrella Academy. I uh, believe the first appearance of Umbrella Academy. Good copy, but it's not the greatest one. I found this in my storage, and I found that this thing has a nice little tear, or a tiny little tear right there on the corner. But I'm not tripping, so I said, you know what? Before they start talking about it on CBSI and Comic Tom 101, I felt like it was going to happen, so I did, that's why I bought myself another copy. Bought one off eBay. This one still needs a press. I mean, it's cleaner than my other copy, so... Now I got two copies, which makes me happy, but you know, I could read this one and whatever, but I decided to get another copy before things could start blowing up. So there we go. And last but not least is my grail picked up this bad boy right here. Reset that whole thing. Werewolf by night. Number 32. First appearance of Moon Knight. Um, I really had a hustle to get this book. A um, couple of places, you know, said no as far as me trying to make offers or get to them. And some people were like, you know, they sold it already. And, you know, I just kind of you know, was getting frustrated. So um, had to go through some of the stuff I had doubles of. And I actually sold a book or two just to get, you know, just I had to flip a book or two just to, you know, get this book. And I'm really happy that I actually got this book. In my possession, so I marked that off my uh, 2019 want list, along with a Nova number one, which you know I believe I showed that off before. I'm not sure, but this one was a big one. I totally wanted to get off my hands, so I'm not. I mean, off you know off my back, but now I have it. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go. You know the deal. I'm gonna have another live video come on uh, Sunday. Be sure to like, you know, little thumbs up, look like that comment down below you know down in the comment box and also be sure to subscribe we're reaching up to 500 subscribers here guys i really appreciate those who have subscribed already until then take care peace